California is talking about a firefighter shortage um, because prisoner firefighters, a number of them have been released due to COVID or are sick with COVID. I explain what's going on and the fact that they make a dollar an hour if they're healthy enough to fight the fires. Yeah, so these conditions, they're just, I mean, they're implorable. I mean, you have, I believe it's 600 less firefighters this year, and we're facing some of the largest wildfires that we've ever had in this state. Um, these guys are out 24, 48 hours at a time. Um, that young man came from Delta Camp, that camp, they are, I just talked to somebody there, and they're coming, they're leaving at 5 o'clock in the morning, not getting back till 8 o'clock at night, and this is every day. So they're being overworked, and for, you know, a dollar an hour, I mean, you know, they're working alongside firefighters that aren't incarcerated people that are making, we don't know how much, and putting their lives on the lines. And it's just, it's, it's, it's a little bit of a human tragedy. They're fighting, they're battling COVID-19, and they're battling wildfires at the same time. Rashid, I wanted to ask you about uh, Kamala Harris, so the, the nominee of the Democratic Party for vice president. When she was attorney general of California, uh, she advocated against early release programs for incarcerated people because it would reduce the number of incarcerated firefighters. Could you talk about her role in this whole issue of the politics of uh, how, to, how to deal with the incarcerated and the fighting of fires in California? Yeah, well, the fact is, it impacts our state economy, right? They're saving $100 million a year on having formerly incarcerated individuals fighting these fires. And it's, it's a little bit of a slap in the face to those of us who are incarcerated, who are trying to, you know, be the best that we can be and put our lives on the lines to go out here and fight these fires. But, you know, her doing that and being a part of mass incarceration as, you know, the district attorney, she—, she she essentially is signing people up for slavery, right? You're, you want these guys to go out and fight these fires and, and do it for only a dollar an hour, and then you're turning around and saying, oh, we don't want to release anybody because, you know, it's, it's going to cost the state this much. It's, it's implorable. 